There's definitely a miscommunication that goes from science to the public. Being able to effectively communicate the issues that we're facing, including biodiversity loss, including climate change, including social inequalities, is going to be one of the biggest challenges we're going to face. This course gives you the skills to communicate that science better and in multiple different ways. We study journalism, podcast and media making with science, filmmaking as well, also looking at policy changes in government. So we go through six units which looks at things from science and society, animal behaviour, ecology for a brighter future. Um, we've also looked at things like resilience which is a really important part of communication. We started the course off with an overnight retreat focused on well-being and becoming a resilient communicator. We really got to know each other. I think that the course is a lot better because of that connection that we have with each other. So having a small cohort has meant that we've all gelled and glued together really well and we know our lecturers really well. We've got the best instructors we could ask for. Ellie McKay is probably the coolest person I've ever met. <laughs> she gets to share with us what she's doing, which is really inspiring. Experts such as Steve Simpson, who's a world leader in his field, and Andy Radford, they've obviously worked for documentaries and have been a part of the process. I've learned how to use things like Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. To be able to learn so much about cameras and about post-production has massively boosted my skill set. The access to nature that you have here is such a green city. All of the nature documentaries that you see, like Planet Earth, A Life on Our Planet, anything David Attenborough has been produced in Bristol. There are so many production companies here with the university as that academic centre. The Life Science Building is incredible. It's got a load of researchers on one side who are doing incredible lab work, and on the other side you have the offices where there's a lot of PhD students and it allows for a lot of collaboration. We also have been having partnered events with the Met Office, the BBC and Saving Our Wild Isles. Bristol's got an incredible music scene and there's a real opportunity to experience the other arts as well and that's a really nice part about Bristol as well. It has all these different ideas. I want to make documentaries in the future, so learning the skills to be able to intertwine my narrative films with the science and frontline conservation. Written is where I want to go, so working for somewhere that writes research for the public view. A link between politics and climate change as well, it's something I've always been drawn to. The different equipment that is available to us to use at any time is out of this world. Jake's doing his podcast, which has been pretty successful. Paperless podcast, where I've talked to a lot of students who've graduated from various universities and elevate their research to the public. Having the opportunity to share that is, is something that's really important. This programme is nothing like I've ever done before. You are able to create this wonderful skill set at the end of it that allows you to communicate the issues that really matter to you. 